Today, we're going to talk about the Baltimore Ravens. They're not in action this week, but there's some news that could make this already amazing team even stronger. For the past few weeks, the Ravens have been upping their game, which is impressive given they've been top-notch all year. Think about it. They have MVP Lamar Jackson as a quarterback and a defense that's arguably the best in the league. Now, here's something that might worry other AFC teams. They've been achieving all this with Isaiah likely as their main tight end after losing Mark Andrews earlier in the season. Many thought this would slow them down, but it didn't. They got even better. And guess what? Mark Andrews is about to return, adding him back into this mix. That's just wild. But let's talk more about why I think the Ravens might just sweep through the playoffs. And hey, if you're into Ravens content, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any updates. Back to the Ravens offense. They've been on fire recently. Just look at their last four games where they scored 37, 23, 33, and a whopping 56 points. But it's not just about the numbers. Consider who they played, like the San Francisco 49ers and the Miami Dolphins, teams that were expected to be tough challenges. Lamar Jackson is playing phenomenally, the best I've ever seen from him, and remember, he's an MVP. A lot of this improvement comes from Todd Monk and play calling since he joined. Under Munkin, we've seen more emphasis on passing, letting Jackson use his arm more than his legs. This has transformed him into a dual threat player. Early in his career, Jackson was known more for his running ability and just okay at passing, but now he's excelled in both, becoming one of the best in the league. We've seen his improvement in pocket presence and passing skills, developing into a quarterback with great touch and power. While Jackson been a key factor, his receivers and overall team support have also played a big role. In the past, the Ravens didn't provide Jackson with top-tier weapons, but this offseason, they decided to change that. The draft pick of Zay Flowers brought explosiveness and yard-gaining ability. Then they added Odell Beckham Jr., who despite coming off a major injury, exceeded expectations and became a solid option for Jackson. Initially, Mark Andrews was a big part of the offense, but his injury raised concerns. However, Isaiah likely stepped up, becoming one of the league top receiving tight ends. So, we have Zay Flowers, a dynamic receiver Odell Beckham Jr., still playing strong and Isaiah likely excelling as a tight end. And now, Andrews, one of the best tight ends, is returning for the playoffs. But it's not just the passing game. The Ravens also boast the best rushing attack in the NFL. It's almost hard to believe how this team keeps getting better each week, even without Andrews. I can't wait to see what they'll look like with him back on the field. Let's shift our focus to their defense, which, believe it or not, might be even more impressive than their offense. Coming into this season, not many pegged the Ravens' defense as potentially the best in the NFL. Yet, here they are, excelling beyond expectations. They're among the top six in limiting total yards per game, lead in sacks by a significant margin, and crucially, they're the best at preventing other teams from scoring, sitting at number one in points allowed per game. This defense, in my opinion, is the best in the league right now, and there's little room to argue otherwise. The key to their defensive success, it starts with their number one ranking in total sacks. Credit goes to Mike McDonald, their defensive coordinator, his creativity and knack for placing players in positions to excel have been a game changer. The talent on the defensive line is undeniable, but McDonald's strategies, creating mismatches and various pass rush schemes, have been instrumental. From the defensive line to the linebackers to the secondary, every level is filled out, a claim even the best defenses in the NFL can't always make. So, pairing this formidable defense with an offense that has an MVP quarterback and stellar weapons, it's hard to imagine the Ravens losing a playoff game, but that's just my take. I'm eager to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more content in the next video.